How you doing everybody? People seem to ask all the time whether it's a good idea to train on an empty stomach or not. And there's a lot of controversy on the internet about the topic because some people say it's good, some people say it's bad. You get the old science head saying, yes, but it makes you catabolic, all that crap. <laughs> um, right, so I'm going to give you the scientific background on it and also my personal opinion. Scientifically, when you train on a full stomach, your joints and everything in your body becomes inflamed, right? S meaning that you're not going to move as smoothly and you're um, essentially not going to be as strong. You're not going to be able to move as much weight as you would if you were on an empty stomach. However, you're going to probably more likely, from training on a full stomach, you're going to more likely use the energy from your food rather than the glycogen in your muscles. And if you don't already know, glycogen is basically the energy that you've consumed through carbohydrates and fats actually which gets turned into sugar which is then put into your muscles okay so it's the muscular energy um, and so training on an empty stomach you're going to eat into your glycogen stores more which is not necessarily a bad thing okay so that's the science behind it so scientifically yeah you are going to be stronger when you train on an empty stomach however looking at it from um, the body type point of view if you're an ectomorph like me which is um, skinny frame generally longer, thinner limbs and that sort of thing, um, then it might be detrimental to your training to train on an empty stomach because you might find that it just eats into your glycogen too much, you start going catabolic, which I said earlier, which I'm not a huge believer in to be honest with you, I think that's a bit of a cop out, but um, so you, you may start losing muscle but you've got to give it a try because I like to personally train, not necessarily on an empty stomach, but I train, basically I have my breakfast and then I'll train about three or four hours later nowadays. I used to train, I'd eat about an hour before I trained. I've just come back from an arm workout now and I ate 20 minutes before and I felt groggy the whole workout. It wasn't good fun at all. So um, so I, now I like to go in with pretty much an empty stomach. I have eaten that day, but I leave it a few hours before I train. And that way I feel I move really smoothly and I'm a lot stronger um, and have a lot more energy and I can keep going for longer. I've got more um, well, muscular energy, essentially. Um, and looking at it from the mesomorph and endomorph point of view, that's the that's the larger frame sort of type of person. Um, then you're gonna, sorry, larger frame somata type to put it in a scientific term. Um, you're gonna be better off eat, um, not, tr sorry, training on an empty stomach so that um, because because basically your your body is built to to have more muscle on it than a skinny person. So pretty much however you train, you're gonna find a way of building muscle. As long as you get your calories in after your workout for any body type, then you're gonna, I think you're going to be alright to be honest with you, but you've got to experiment with it. If you're an extreme ectomorph, skinny person, then maybe it will eat into your muscles, but you just got to try it. I find personally I'm okay if I train on an em empty, empty stomach, so if I wake up, don't eat anything and just head to the gym. I could train alright, but I start losing the energy halfway through, so I like to eat and then leave it a while. But just give it a try, man. But the scientific fact of it is you will be stronger when you train empty because of the inflammation. Um, so you've really just got to experiment, give it a try, make sure you get in your post-workout um, meal basically. Oh, uh, I like to have, I've got a shaker here with my, um, it's got dextrose in it, so instant carbohydrates, just the really simple sugars and protein powder in there to get that straight into my bloodstream um, and obviously into my muscles. Um, but yeah, as long as you're taking your post-workout, you should be all right. But experiment with it. I'm sorry I've blagged a load this workout. I'm trying to concentrate. Uh, sorry, this <laughs> this workout, this video. Obviously, I'm trying to look at the road at the same time. But I hope that's helpful. Give it a try and see what happens. Just monitor your results. And if you do start losing muscle, then obviously you need to eat before you train. But if you start gaining more muscle, gaining more strength, then you're on to a winner. Best of luck.